Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Question 2, 2018, the complex number question. Z1 is equal to minus 2 plus 3i. Z2 is equal to minus 3 minus 2i. And Z3 is equal to Z1 minus Z2. Plot Z1, Z2 and Z3 on the Argon diagram. Label each point clearly. Okay, so let's do Z1 first. So minus 2 plus 3i. So there's your real part. There's your imaginary part. Your real axis, your imaginary axis. So it's over to minus 2 on my real axis and up 3 on my imaginary axis. Uh, so minus 2 plus 3i. So I make that one to be Z1. Z2 then, minus 3. Down to minus 2i. So I make that one down there to be Z2. And then Z3 is equal to Z1 minus Z2. So Z1 is minus 2 plus 3i. Be careful with the minus um, because it's very easy to miss a sign. So in other words, because there's two parts to a complex number, you have to go minus, minus the real part and minus the imaginary part, okay? So it's better to put it in a bracket whenever you're subtracting a complex number. So you have minus two plus three i for that one. And I have minus minus three. So you know minus minus is a plus. And then you have to go back from minus minus two i again. So that's plus two i. Okay, so minus two then. So how do you add or subtract real numbers? So real to real. So minus two plus three is one. And then I have plus 3i plus 2i is plus 5i. So I have 1 over 1 on my real axis and then up to 5i on my imaginary axis. So that's my Z3 up there. Okay. Part B. Investigate if the modulus of Z3 is equal to the modulus of Z1 plus the modulus of Z2. OK, so for any complex number equal to X plus YI, or of course, this could be written as A plus BI. It doesn't really matter what the letters are. The modulus of it is then equal to the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So the real squared and the imaginary number squared. OK, so I would say um, Z3 is equal to 1 plus 5I. So therefore, the modulus of Z3 is equal to the square root of X squared, so 1 squared, plus Y squared. So that's the imaginary part. And the I doesn't go into it, just the 5. So 5, 5, 25, and 1 is 26. So root 26 is just root 26. OK, it doesn't simplify down to anything. OK, I might hit an OLSTD there and just go 5.099, just in case I need the decimal part of it. OK, but probably not. It normally works in thirds. OK, so Z1 then. Let's write down what Z1 is first. Z1 is equal to minus 2 plus 3i. So the modulus of Z1 is equal to the square root of minus 2 squared plus 3 squared. So again on my calculator, square root is root 13. Let me just STD him, which is 3.6. So then Z2 is equal to minus 3 minus 2i. So the modulus of Z2 
is equal to the square root of minus 3 squared plus minus 2 squared. And that's going to be root 13 again. And I know that because it's 3 squared and 2 squared. So although it's in a different order, it's the same numbers there. So it's root 13 squared. So the question then comes down to is root 26 equal to root 13 plus root 13. Okay, so onto your calculator, put in root 13, come out from under the square root sign, plus square root of 13. And can you see you've got two root 13 for that one, which is 7.211. Okay, and I'm just gonna put in the decimal equivalent of, of root 26. Remember, we wrote it down here. 5.099, so they are not equal. Okay, but you can see how easily it looks like they could be. Okay, so watch that one. That's why sometimes I work with the decimals just to give me a feel for the number, because even if I round that to three and a half and three and a half, well, that's seven, which is not equal to 5.099. Okay, so that's that one done. Now Z4 is equal to Z1 over Z2. Write Z4 in, in the form X plus YI where there are real numbers. Okay, so this is examining, can you divide complex numbers? So Z4 is equal to Z1, take my Z1 from here, minus two plus three I over Z2 minus three minus 2i. Okay, one of the rules of maths, well, well, two of the rules of maths, one of the rules of maths is you're not allowed to divide by zero, okay, and you'll get a maths error if you do that. Another rule of maths, you're not allowed to get the square root of a negative number, you'll get a maths error. Another rule of maths is you're not allowed to divide by imaginary numbers. You can only divide by real numbers. So therefore, to handle division, you have to make sure that the number on the bottom that you're dividing by ends up being a real number. Okay, so in other words, we have to get rid of this minus 2i. So how you do that is you multiply it by its conjugate. Okay, now I want to come off to an aside and I want to explain why multiplying a number by its conjugate, and a conjugate means you change the sign of the imaginary part. So that number there is what's called the complex conjugate of this number. All I did was change the sign of the imaginary part, not the real part, just the imaginary part. Now, what happens when I multiply a complex number by its conjugate? Okay, well, I wanna show you what happens this. So it's two by everything in the second bracket plus I by everything in the second bracket. So help me multiply this out, two twos, four, two by minus i minus two i, then come over here, plus i by two, plus two i, plus i by minus i, well plus by minus is a minus, i by i is i squared. Okay, can you see in the middle, you have a minus and a plus of the same number, and that will always happen. That will always happen when you multiply a number by its conjugate. Okay, now you might say it's still got i's in the bottom. Well, no, in fact, that's a real number. Remember, i squared is equal to minus one, and it tells you that in the question. i squared is minus one. So anytime you have i squared in a question, get rid of it by subbing in minus one. So he ends up being four minus minus one, which is four plus one, which is five. So when you multiply a number by its conjugate, you cancel out the complex parts and you're left with just a real number. Okay, so that is why when we're dividing complex numbers as such, we must multiply it, just the bottom, we must multiply it by the conjugate of the bottom. Okay, so I hope that makes sense as to why you do it. Okay, so you multiply it by the conjugate of the bottom. See that? So I didn't change the sign of the three, just changed the sign of the imaginary part. Okay. Now, what I do to the bottom, I also have to do to the top. Okay. 
So I must also multiply the top by minus three plus two i. So the rule is when you're dividing complex numbers, multiply above and below by the conjugate of the bottom. And if you learn that off and you say that every time one of these comes up, you'll be you'll do all right. Multiply above and below by the conjugate of the bottom. OK, so it's bracket, 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 bracket on the top, bracket, 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 bracket on the bottom. OK, so it's the same as minus two, this minus two here by everything in the second bracket. Go back for the plus three i by everything in the second bracket. And the bottom, it's minus three by everything in the second bracket. Minus, oh, sorry, minus two i by everything in the second bracket. OK, and then you go mad multiplying, OK, because a lot of multiplying now. So what, what started off as a little division ends up being this mass of multiplication. So bit by bit, just multiply it in. I'm just going to do each bit here now. So minus 2 by minus 3 is, is minus by minus is a plus. 3 twos are 6. And minus 2 by plus 2i is minus. 2 twos are 4i. OK, I'm done with that bracket. Onto this one. 3i by minus 3 is minus 3 threes are 9i. Plus 3i by 2i is plus 3 twos are 6i squared. So what I'm doing is I'm doing the sign first, then the numbers, then the letters. So sign, number, letter, OK, when, when there's a lot of multiplication. So that's the top. And then on the bottom, minus 3 by minus 3 is 9. Minus 3 by plus 2i is minus 6i. Minus 2i by minus 3. Minus by minus is a plus. 3 twos are 6i. You know you're good when you see this. Now minus by plus is a minus 2 twos are 4i squared. OK, and if that doesn't happen on the bottom, you've made a mistake. Next job, let's sub in our minus ones for our i squared and let's tidy up here. OK, so I will have six and then I'll have minus four i minus nine. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, minus 13 i plus six times minus one. All over nine minus four bracket minus one. So don't overthink it. Any place there's i squared, put in the minus one, keep everything else the same. Okay, so then I have six minus 13 i plus six times minus one. So plus by minus is a minus. And on the bottom I have nine Minus by minus is a plus four. So six minus six cancels. So I have zero minus 13 i. And note that the real part always gets written first, okay? Over 13, okay? And how you simplify it is the real part goes over the 13 minus 13 i over 13. OK, so you break it up and you put each bit over the 13. So 0 over 13 is 0, minus 13 over 13 is 1 or i. So that's it in the form x plus yi. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level 7 in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress onto the level eight in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.